As long as I can remember, I've had issues with family. My mom got committed to an institution when I was four. And my dad, who knows. So my grandparents took me in. The whole thing was a shock to them and they sought refuge in esotericism. They became bitter and distant. At 19, I got accepted at NYU in physics. So I left Montreal as fast as I could and never looked back. I loved sciences, but then I came upon this collection of arcane scriptures at the library. These texts went much deeper than those on my grandparents' bookshelf. I became obsessed, I came back day after day. That's when they made contact. The cabal didn't need a silver tongue to convince. They just showed me. Magic. The stuff of legend. It was real. Soon after, I received my initiate's name, Eon. I was now part of an arcane society. A dream come true, right? Not quite. The Cabal's edicts are strict and dehumanizing. Ascension only occurs as magic replaces the mind, or so they said. I, Gabriel Oxley, started fading away. After seven years of deprivation and absolute submission, it's a miracle I could still think. One fateful day, I found the last bit of resolve left in me, and I ran for my life. Greetings, Eo. You have come to this place to undergo the test, as many other ambitious mages before you. Here is a magical tarot deck that can read your soul and make you confront your own fears. 
survive, and you could become the most powerful mage in this world. Good luck. Good luck. I was wondering how much longer you'd stay on the run, Neil. You made the right choice coming to the Crucible of Fates.
It's too bad you failed the test and died. Now, instead, you'll be part of the Crucible of Fates forever. Time for me to start calling the next candidate.